so this is a um, porcelain jug that I've been working on. I think it's looking really fab. It's had a bisque fire in. So what I want to do now is decorate it. I'm using nano underglaze paint. The good thing is that you can mix these like you would any other paints. Kind of get a little bit of movement into the work. So it doesn't look it doesn't look too flat. also mix these with water so I've got a red and a blue and white I love working with these colours. So I think this is it for the flowers. And what I'm going to do next, pick this all in, do the green stems. And then I think on the other side, um, I'm going to do some foliage here. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the corn flowers at the back as well. Um, yeah, quite quite liked using a little bit of bit of sponge if you want to get some texture into a flower. So that's how you paint corn flower onto a ceramic jug. So this is an Anexa underglazed um, pen. So I'm going to use the underglaze pen to do the stems. There are various size nibs from small to medium size. You need to make sure that you clean them out. I'm going to use this little, little pin to do that. I'm just going over the the outline that I did in pencil and this gives it a bit of a 3D look as well which is always nice it's really good for getting lovely fine lines look at that You would find it really difficult to do these lines with a brush and, he, and, he, and you've just seen how quick quick that was. Fab, it's looking good. The porcelain jug survived a glaze firing. I think it's looking fabulous. The colours are so vibrant. I used the nano under glazes um, from Scarva. I think they look fantastic. I used a transparent glaze to finish the piece. I'm so pleased with it. I hope you found this short review helpful. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.